I get here. And nobody much knew about Australia. They, they didn't know a whole lot. They knew it was there, but yeah, they didn't yeah. know what it was. And so when I started doing uh, auditions, everyone said, well, what's that accent you're doing? I said, it's my own accent. Oh, we don't want that. I said, what do you want? So I had to sort of come up with some kind of an American accent. I get a call from my agent. He says, I've got this audition. <laughs> he said, these people want East Africans. I said, East Africans? I, I, I said, what's that? He said, exactly. No one's going to know, so go in there. Well, it That's was for General Hospital. Oh, no. He said, it's a two-day role. No. I said, fine. And I had no idea at that point how big the show was. This was in uh, October 1980. Monty was? Oh, yeah, in power. So uh, I go in there. I did five readings in five different days. Finally, they said, you've got the job. Um, come in tomorrow for a wardrobe fitting. I said, okay. So I was brought in, I had no name, but I was brought in expressly to beat up the hero, Luke, and then disappear. So half the day goes by and I get summoned into Gloria's office. And she said, we really like what you're doing. Would you like to stay? Yes. Okay. Did you act cool or were you? Yeah, yeah. I, I started to kind of sweat a little bit. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> so she said, we'll figure something out. We'll talk to your agent and do the paperwork, et cetera, et cetera. So about three days later, I get called to come in. Now, they hadn't, any, they hadn't written anything. They had nothing for this character. Right. So I was just told, Gloria wants you in scenes. You don't have to say anything. You can be reading a magazine, a book, peek, poking around a corner, looking furtive, looking suspicious, yada, yada, yada. Okay. For two weeks, I did that. Right. Finally, they get caught up in the scripts, and uh, I get told, okay, you are now Agent X, X1. I said, what? Yes, your Agent X1. I said, that's a stupid name. I said, let me come up with something a little bit better than that. So I went away and thought about it, and I came back. I said, okay, how about his agent CK8? And uh, Norma, Gloria's sister, said, what does CK stand for? I said, well, he can't be a double O, because that's already been taken. But I said, CK can stand for can kill, number right. eight. She said, oh, I like that. And from that moment on, that's what he was, CK8. So you got the, how many years did you sign initially? initially? Three years. Yeah. But and that didn't mean anything. In fact. I understand. You're but only there for 13 weeks. Yeah, actually. I get you. So then you got popular fast? Very quick. And then you and Tony Geary were, f what was your characters like? Friends or not friends? Or We were suspicious of one another. That's the best way to put it. And then finally I rescue him from the throes of Cassadones. And uh, we became good buddies, but not before... There was this one big fight scene between him and me and a whole bunch of Cassidon people. And what, what, what we did, we were downstairs in the green room and suddenly we started messing with the script. And he said, hold it, put the script down. He said, let's do it now. So suddenly we had a whole different scene. Oh, yeah. And he said, oh, i got to show Gloria this. So 
we go up into the booth and said, Mum, because you there were certain people that called her Mum. Mum, we, we, we've something to show you. She's going, what? <laughs> so we do the scene and she looks at the both of us and says, okay, keep that and we'll do it again in a minute. So at the end of the night, they'd saved up this scene and she came down and redressed the set. We had stunt guys there who'd taken us through things. And back then, when they had stunts on the set, you were given the option of doing it or they brought in a, but they brought in a double. I always chose to do it and so did Tony. But to get that right, we had to rehearse. And so we rehearsed during our lunch hour. That's how it was then. Wow. Otherwise, they'd cut it all together. So this one particular fight scene was really heavy, got really nasty. Uh, the both of us had our asses kicked. And then at the end of it, we both look at one another and back away. And that was the start of it. After we showed Gloria what we did, we changed all the dialogue. She said, OK, listen to me. That thing, that speech of Tony's, that's got to stay in. You can't mess with that because that figures into something we're doing next week. Tristan, you've got to really not trust him at all and it's got to come across and that comes across in the way you've, you've, you've changed the dialogue here and, um, well, the rest of it, do what you like. And that was it. That's how it started. After that, we were always doing Who something. Who was your girl? <laughs> Technically, then, I didn't have one. Oh, you didn't have one in the no. beginning. I didn't have a, a love interest until we got to the island. What was happening is that they had... Laura was working for the Quartermains. But she'd been raped at this point. Yes. So I would go in there and uh, try to get information out of her. And then I was taking her out. Well, she'd broken up with Luke at that point, oh, but there was still a connection. Oh, you with her? But I was with her. Not big time, but enough. Wow. So Gloria used to love having dinner, used to love taking certain people out for dinner. And so this one particular night, I think it was the second time I'd ever gone out with her, we were around at her favourite place, which was the Beverly Hills Hotel. And um, we're talking away, I'm into my second martini she was drinking wine we're talking away yada 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 and she stops and she said what was happening on the show just to digress robert and laura were becoming a very popular item and i wasn't truly aware of this but uh she said to me one night this particular night she said <clears throat> What do you think of Robert and Laura as an item? Um, I didn't know the significance of the question. So I said, well, I think it's going to work. I said, he's a totally different character. He's older. He's more sophisticated. I said, you're going to have to change her before it's going to work on changing him and the two of them becoming an item. She looked at me. And it was never mentioned again. No. That was the end of it. So it's you, Luke and Laura, and who else? That's it? I mean, I know there's other... In that particular group, a... there were just three of us. Okay, good. <clears throat> How long were you guys doing it? Well, the actual time on the island, that, the island that they built, was only five days. Oh. But you guys were... The storyline had gone for about three or four months. Okay. But when we actually get to the island, and it was like a huge lo location shoot, we were on a boat to go over to Catalina, which right. was the island. There's the island side of it, and then there's underneath the island where the Cassadines live. Yes. Now, who are the Cassadines? Well, there was John Colicus, a really big-time actor. And there was Teo Penglis and... There were a number of women, one of which turned out to be my love interest. Okay, so you guys were the thing for a while. Yeah. Now, this is, bef this is bef uh, 
before the Luke and Laura wedding? Yes. Okay. Then when's the Luke and Laura wedding? That's that was in uh, 81, the uh, September of 81, I think. Now, story about that. There wasn't going to be a wedding. Elizabeth Taylor had one of her people ring up the show. She was a huge fan. Right, right. And said, look, the guy goes, do you have a place for Elizabeth Taylor? She wants to make an appearance on the show. Well, of course, yeah, it's Elizabeth Taylor. What are you going to do? So... They literally had to take, the wedding was planned for the summer of 82. This is back when we had a big summer storyline. Right. It was planned for the summer of 82. Well, of course, they had to scramble to bring eight months of storyline forward. Wow. And there really wouldn't have been a wedding at all. No. Because... If Elizabeth Taylor hadn't called up and said, I'm not going to appear on the show unless there's a wedding. Unless Luke and Laura get wedding, married. Uh, that's, that's it. That's cool. 